welcome to all of you for coming to this uh, seminar about cancer research and patty needs. This is the first one from a series that Open Science is organizing here in Second Life under the name of Science and People. And it couldn't be possible without the splendid collaboration of the learning experience people who have a really beautiful project about free and good quality education for all the people. It's a pleasure to introduce you to Pika Cliff from DGS Lab, who is a cancer researcher in real life, who will run the scientific part of this talk, and her supervisor, Alpha Rose, and Fayandria Foley from the American Cancer Society, who talks about her experience with this disease and how to affront this demon. Thanks for coming. Hope you like it. You can start when you want, um, Pika. Thank you very much, Noke. So, good evening and good morning, everybody. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to Noke Yuitsa, who invited me in uh, uh, talking you a little bit about cancer, cell cycle, and checkpoints. And I'd like to say thank you to the Learning Experience main campus, the island, which is hosting me. First of all, I'd like to introduce myself. My real name is Letizia Cito. As Noke told you, uh, I am a researcher. My main um, field of interest is related to gastric cancer and cell cycle and checkpoints. Uh, my professor, my boss is Professor Antonio Giordano, who was the first to discover connection between cell cycle alterations and cancer and uh, um, in all his laboratories, uh, uh, main topics are related right to this uh, subject. Uh, in SL, as uh, Noke told you, I belong to DGS Lab, a group created by Professor Giuseppe Russo, Alfa Rux. So, uh, first of all, I'd like to tell you why when we talk about tumors, we uh, use the name cancer. Uh, this name is due to the shape of tumor, which is generally characterized by a big mass surrounded by big vessels resembling pincers and limbs of a cancer. And as a cancer catches its prey, the tumor catch surrounding tissues. In this slide, you can see on your left a cancer, an arthropod, and on the right part of the slide, you can see an ovarian cancer, and you can observe that the shape is a, a mass surrounded by pincers and limbs. Of course, there are some exceptions. For example, uh, we have leukemias and all blood cancers. Anyway, I'd like simply to explain you why the tumors or neoplastic pathology are defined with this word. But why a normal cell develops in a cancer cell? Normal cell can maintain their homeostasis thanks to a series of molecular pathways made by different proteins which have a continuous crosstalk among them. And correct amount and correct um, shape of protein is due uh, to correct uh, transcription and translation of DNA. DNA is our coding material which gives the possibility to have a correct amount and function of proteins and a correct 
crosstalk among proteins. Of course, not DNA di directly, but its product proteins gives our, give our cell the possibility to have normality conditions. But if a damage occurs, if DNA is damaged, we can have the loss of the right information, the loss of the right coding information of, from DNA. So we can have two different phenomena. We can have protein gain of function, maybe an overexpression of protein or an overactivation of protein, or we can have loss of function of a protein or loss of, um, of expression of a protein. Anyway, I'd like to highlight that um, it is not enough having just one damage for, um, to DNA to uh, develop a cancer. In fact, as you can observe in this slide, if we compare normal cell division to cancer cell division, we can observe that in normal cell, if, the, if a damage occur, uh, if it cannot be repaired, cell commit suicide, the so-called apoptosis. In cancer cell division, when a first mutation cannot be repaired and another mutation accumulates to the first one, um, after after this occurrence, we have an increasing in accumulation of mutations. And so finally, product is uh, a tumoral mass characterized by an uncontrolled growth. So more than one, more than one mutation, uh, four or more mutation, mutations are necessary to, uh, to develop a cancer. So here are summarized uh, the, some of um, the genes uh, um, which can be um, shot by mutations. For example, we have uh, oncogenes and tumor suppressor genes and DRR and DNA repair genes, uh, which are um, those set of genes which were discovered first as mutated in DNA. But more recently, more set of genes have been found mutated in cancer development. For example, cell death genes, the so-called apoptotic genes, cellular, cellular differentiation genes, cellular senescent genes, and so on. Oh, mm. Some people have some problem in uh, uh, watching the slide I am reading. Yes. yes. But, um, for example, right now, do you see this slide? Okay. Thank you, Anne. Okay. Perfect, perfect. Yes, yes. So, substantially, we can define cancer as a genetic pathology. Genetic mm, can be sporadic or inherited. Anyway, anyway damage, uh, damage which cause cancer uh, uh, are damage shooting genes. If genes are mutated, uh, proteins are mutated. If proteins are mutated, we cannot have the right function of uh, molecular pathways. We cannot have maintenance of uh, cellular homeostasis. <laughs>